Hey, I um, it's early in the morning. My kids are all in bed. I'm gonna try and get a short video out for everybody. I've had some people asking for another video, and today um, I was gonna talk about salt mixes. I just want to also make a comment that everything that I say on my channel and about the tanks I've done is my opinion. There's a lot of ways to do things to have success in this hobby. And I am just answering people's questions about what has worked for me. People see my tanks. They see that they're successful, praise God. And so they ask questions and I answer them. If you don't agree with the way I do things, that's okay because what you do might work might works best for you and what I do works best for me. And so there's a lot of different ways to do things to have success. And if you want to have brighter lights, a sump and refugium to have success, great. It does work. And I am just showing the way that I do things that it does work that you don't need to have a lot of equipment and spend a lot of money. I mean, if you like the gadgets and you want to do all that, a lot of people um, want to have the harder corals, aqu aquapores and things like that, and clams. Yes, this system will not support that. But if you just want to have a simple setup that looks beautiful with basic corals and not invest a ton of money, I mean, it's still expensive, but a ton of money, then this channel is to help people like that. So, um, you know, beginners, people that just want to have simple setups and not have a ton of equipment. So anyways, I'm going to today talk about the salts that I have used and what I use in this tank. I have been doing fish tanks for years, basic fresh water. I think I got my first one when I was six. And I've always had fish bowls, fish tanks in my life ever since then. I started doing salt water over 15 years ago. I don't know exactly when it was, but um, I've had many salt water tanks. And I've always done them fairly simply. And for the first many years, I used just plain instant ocean. The basic instant ocean with nothing added to it. And my tanks have always thrived on using plain instant ocean. And when I did the conversion over from... It's on my YouTube videos of the tank, my 20 long that I started like maybe five years ago, six years ago. And I did the big changeover to this. I just, it outgrew the tank, all the corals. I had a lot more stony corals. And that tank, I had to dose. It wasn't a lot more work, but I don't have the equipment. You know, I do this on the cheap. And so I was having to dose every day. Uh, be ionic, part one, part two, or, and, um, the calcium, the alkalinity daily, and a dose other things. And so when I started this system up and switched everything that I wanted to keep out of that tank over into this system, it's still a 20 long. I wanted more water, more corals that swayed, less stony corals. I don't want a dose. And so I switched to Red Sea Pro. Not because I didn't like the instant ocean, but I don't want a dose. And Red Sea Pro had a lot more stuff in it. Well, I have a few indicator corals in my tank if something's off. They're just very sensitive, touchy corals. And one of them is this crown of thorns right here. If one little thing isn't balanced in my tank, he either turns brown or right away he starts to STN, which means he starts losing flesh and it turns white to the skeleton and he starts to die. Very persnickety. And when I switched to the Red Sea Pro, full strength, using it just, I do a four gallon water change every week. So I was doing a four gallon Red Sea Pro water change. He started to STN. And 
I have another one that's a little persnickety, and it's this one here that's a bird's nest. And that one started having spots of it, too. So, anyway, I started, I trimmed off the parts that were, you know, STN at the bottom and re-glued it down. Otherwise, it'll just keep going. And I started cutting it with Instant Ocean. I used three gallons of Red Sea Pro and one gallon of the Instant Ocean, and that fixed it. Whatever the problem was that that little coral was having with using the Red Sea Pro full strength has stopped. And so ever since then, that's what I do with this tank. I use three gallons of Red Sea Pro, which isn't bad to mix. I mean, you can mix it all in the same bucket. I take three, you know, three of the scoops of the Red Sea Pro and then one scoop of Instant Ocean, dump four gallons of water in there and, and blend it up and mix it. And so far I have not had to dose this tank with anything except I use Reef Energy, which doesn't have to be used, but I do think it does help with the colors. So that's my salt story. I have tried Reef Crystals in the past, didn't see much difference. I think as long as you use a salt that you like and you think is great and just stick with it and keep it consistent and don't jump all over the board I think you know because corals do like stability and I think you'll be fine um, I used instant ocean forever I never had to dose other tanks I've had in the past until my last tank um, the one before this that I had to move over here that had just so many um, style of for uh, and um, birds nests Poslaporas, huge colonies that just sucked up a lot of calcium. So, anyway, whoops, my daughter. Yep, your alarm's going off. Go shut it off. Sorry about that, guys. It's way early in the morning. But anyways, so that's my salt story and uh, the kinds of salts that so people are asking what salt I use on this tank. So, anyway, I'll do a pan over of my tank and... So everybody can see this is growing really, really well. It's on Alcatraz. That rock is pulled back away from my rock work um, so that it, nothing gets onto my rock work. So that's Alcatraz. It's got some mushrooms I don't want on my rock work. My favorite little pallies and then these pallies grandis. And that thing is growing fast. In my la last tank, it got so so big and it's so powerful that everything within the bouquet got so huge that everything within three or five inches around it was dying so I'm gonna have to watch how big that colony gets but everything else is doing great um, this colony was in my old setup and I fragged it way back and it is almost back to the bouquet size it was before very happy um, that white pipe is doing great and looks so beautiful in here against the purple rock work. I have um, those little frags from my friend. Um, they're doing really well. The colors in here are great. That little guy back there is growing a couple new little arms. The pagoda coral that I have, I bought it as a little square frag and it no longer looks like a square. It's doing really well. Everything, this is early in the morning, so stuff's just waking up. I only have two Aikens. I had too many Aikens in that valley, so I only I gave away one to my friend, and that's looking really good. Um, a little bouquet of the candy canes back there as well. There's my little sexy shrimp. He was pestering that purple stylo to death, but it seems to be recovering. He's picking some other places to peck around at and hang out at, so hopefully he'll my stylo will recover. And... Uh, that's getting big. That bird's nest was just a little teeny weeny frag and is and that I had kept. It's doing better. The um, recordia in this tank aren't quite as happy as my other tank because the flow is so much higher in this tank. And so um, they don't expand quite as much, but they are slowly migrating to little areas that are less flow and getting happier and puffing up more. And that thing is just huge. I mean, it's just beautiful and huge. Uh, my clownfish used to host that, the, my old clownfish, and so it kept it pretty small, but now that they're not here anymore, <clears throat> it's getting pretty big. 
There's my Springer's damsel. If you keep those singly, usually they behave pretty well, but you have to get a Springer's. That short tentacle Gani right there in the center of the screen, it is very aggressive and it can put out five inch tentacles and just sweep around itself. So, um, and I got those two hammers from the Atlanta Reef Club. I had won a contest and, um, the thing that they were offering wouldn't have done good in this tank. I don't have strong enough lighting, so I got picked out those two in, instead. And they're doing really well. And that guy back there is very happy and doing well. Go around the edge here. And so that Liptospira is growing good and getting bigger too. So basically... Everything is still growing and doing well, glory to God. And um, looking pretty. My fish aren't all out and awake yet. I don't know where my tail spot bunny is usually. He's out swimming around too. I pray everybody's having a great fall and we're now going into we're in November a few days into November so and that your tanks are doing well and your coral is happy and fluffy blessings and happy reefing <laughs>